Well, it's the next day, and uh, I came out here to check on my bee balm and maybe insert it in the other hive. But, man, these bees, I, I wanted to do this without any smoke. Because this won't take that long, but these bees, as soon as I pulled in, they they came after me. They, they got out of the truck, and they started coming after me, so they, they remember me from yesterday, that's for sure. And uh, they're not happy at all. So... Basically, I just got to remove my bee balm. It's up in this nuke right here. I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to insert it in this, this hive right here to give this hive a boost. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Before I even get that bee balm out, I'm going to smoke, give a little smoke. And then I'm gonna take this top up, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna pull a frame. A little bit. There's my queen. Just a little bit of a little patch of brood there. That queen's not laying hardly anything at all because there's not enough brood in there to. All right, all right. I made my space, but that's enough. And drop that bee balm right in there. So now I'm gonna give give these bees here. This is my bee balm hive. Give them a little bit of smoke. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna pop this off. Yeah. There are some bees in there. A lot more bees in there than I thought there would be. You gotta be kidding me. This is insane. I can flip this over like this maybe. Bees everywhere. Just that wind, you know? That wind always picks up whenever it's least. Shake, give it a shake. Not a lot. But... Okay, that's what I got. I got. They're gonna get brood. There's eggs in here. Brood. Larvae. No queen because I got a queen excluder. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this works. Hopefully there's gonna be enough bees here to keep this brood warm. Because we got some cooler weather coming up. Next week is supposed to co turn colder. Oh, man. Got to redesign my hive stands. And then I'm going to slide these bees. These bees right here, all these bees, they're going down in the in the hive that needs a little bit of resuscitation. So that's what we're doing. And I don't think they're going to bother the queen. Hopefully they don't. Because if they do, that's not going to be good for this this hive at all. Not at all. But I've done this a lot of times. And it usually works out. Usually. I'm going to take these bees here. They don't blow back in my face. And I'm going to... Give them a little, there, that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna let them fly out if they wanna fly out. I think we should be good. Well, good luck, queen, I hope you make it. And uh, that's it for the moment. Put that on like that. Get this hive put back together. I want to get out of here before I get all stung up again. Well, I actually didn't get stung up yesterday, but <clears throat> they sure did come after me. And that's all I'm doing for now. That's that's it for this hive. Put this one back together. 
Let these bees alone, let them get over their anger. So this hive here, I think I'm gonna need to definitely do something with this. Do, do some splits. They're ready to go. I checked it thoroughly. I did not see a, a queen cell in there, but you know, get them all strapped up. Go back over here to this hive. Got a little bit of syrup for the hive. See what they're doing in there now. Are they fighting? Eh, not really. They were all young bees. So, you know, maybe maybe it'll work out. <laughs> I hope. I like that queen. But what I'm going to do now is feed them. Give them a little bit of syrup. And uh, put this box back on it. Strap it down. Okay, I'm done. But there's two things that are concerning me. I'll check these again this, this weekend, maybe. Hopefully the queen will be alive. This hive right here, walk by this hive, and I hear this hive right here, just walking by, I could hear them, these bees roaring in there. I don't know what's going on. This, this hive has a good queen, but the way they're roaring like that, it makes me a little bit concerned. I was in here yesterday. I, I fed them yesterday and it looked, poked around a little bit, not too much, but it kind of concerns me that they're making all that noise. So, could they be queenless? One other thing that's concerning me is this hive right here. I, I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost like I, I see these little white spots on the bees. And at first I thought maybe that one right there, I don't know if you can see it. Is that like mildew or what? It, what is? what are those white spots? Or would it be oxalic acid residue? I don't know, but I'm also looking at this. I'm glad I took a closer look because this right here, that's wet. And that's not good. That's that's probably syrup. Actually, it's not. It's not leaking syrup. There might be syrup in the bottom of the, the bottom board. I have to tilt this hive a little bit more, but the bees look good, and they're not, honestly, like they haven't taken down. I filled this up like two weeks ago, and it's this container, and it's still about halfway, so it, if it is leaking, it ain't, it's obviously not leaking that bad, but okay, so that's it for disturbing these bees. I'm using a new mic. I ended up, I got on Amazon and just bought a new mic, because I didn't think I was getting good sound from my on my phone and this mic well, I bought a cheap mic it was only 20 bucks I, I don't I don't do a lot of videos and I don't want to invest a bunch of money into doing in a bunch of equip buying a bunch of equipment and stuff like that so just for doing videos because I don't know how many videos I'm gonna make turn my fence on I got power I was going to show you the donkey, but it's, it's actually a donkey. They have sheep in this fence right here. I don't know if you can see it. But this fence right here, they have sheep. Oh, there's, there's a donkey down there. Or is that a horse? No, it's a donkey. You can't, you can't see it from here, but they keep sheep in here, and they've been bothered by coyotes. We're in Pennsylvania, so we've got a lot of coyotes. And they got that donkey down in there, so apparently donkeys... Are very good at it. Uh, they're kind of like a predator of of uh, coyotes. Like there's YouTube videos of donkeys killing coyotes. So that's what they use to protect their sheep as a donkey. It's, pr it's pretty cool. Well, geez, those bees were being so aggressive out there that I I, I didn't even want to stick around long enough to to do my closing because it they, it was just getting to be like very annoying. Um, so I thought I'd on the way home I'd stop here out here at the state park and do my closing. 
So basically, you know, I got a, like a super aggressive nuke. Um, it's it's boiling over with bees, but it's it's um it's a uh, it's doing pretty good. I don't know what the problem is. I have a feeling that the reason the 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 nuke it's usually a really it's one of my favorite colonies actually. They're very, real, usually very gentle bees. I think what's happening is it's overpopulated, and I f I feel like the weather the way the weather is it's been it's been so mild you know over the winter and. Um, so far this spring that the bees are just growing and they're just like exp expanding but I feel like maybe the nectar flow isn't so maybe like we really you know the nectar flow isn't keeping up with that so maybe we are kind of like in a dearth right now maybe that's why the bees are being like the way they are but yeah those bees like, they kicked me out of there like two days in a row um, I am excited though to see that, that that those bees you know that they are growing like that because there's a lot of possibilities that it, that could happen with that with that nuke but so I got that nuke I did the bee bomb put the bee bomb on a on my hive that, that needs just basically it needs a lot of help so I, I put the bee the the bee bomb on there hopefully it does those bees don't kill my queen so I like the queen if they do kill the queen that's probably going to be it for that for that hive I'm probably just going to have to mix them in with another hive and um what else do I have going on I put one new uh, one uh a honey super on and then my other hives are doing well they're not not nowhere near ready for a honey super but maybe in like two weeks they will be next week is supposed to be rather cool again here in pennsylvania but you know, that's the way what pennsylvania is is 80 degrees one day and 50 the other really we don't really get any nice weather until like around june i figure that's whenever like spring really officially keep, kicks in but um in two weeks i think things will probably the weather will probably straighten itself out and you'll see some things happening with the bees but anyway that's it i mean uh i'm just glad i got my bee inspections over with and uh i got my weekend to myself maybe do some fishing i'm darren i'm the pennsylvanian beekeeper and i will see you next time